how much real estate you got. Without real estate, you pay tax. Only lazy people use their own money. McDonald's is in the real estate business, so they sell hamburgers, but they buy real estate, so they pay no taxes. That's why they're poor. They have a poor mindset. And the rich don't have jobs anyway. They have assets. Always said to me, go to school and get a high paying job. That's not wealth. That's a job. And get fired, you know. And then my rich dad always says, work for assets. So there's basically four asset classes that makes a person rich. And there's lots of more, the subheadings and all this. But number one is a business. The richest young guys today start companies. It's called Facebook, Google, Apple, stuff like that, you know. Number two is real estate. So what my rich dad taught me is a combination of being an entrepreneur in business and entrepreneur in real estate. It's that combination is I pay no tax and I make a lot more money, okay? So a lot of guys say, well, I have a business. I say, well, how much real estate you got? Without real estate, you pay tax. That's the problem. And then there's paper, which is stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and savings. That's what most people should be in. The reason savings are good, I mean, paper is good, like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, they're liquid. You make a mistake, you can get in and out real quick. Go liquid. The trouble with these two, you make a mistake, you're there forever. Can't get in and out. So that's why you gotta be very smart before you go in. And the last is commodities. And, um, you know, that's why I own oil. And as the price of oil goes down, people say, are you losing money? I said, no, because in the U.S., if you deal in oil, you get tax breaks. So I must invest a million in oil, I get 800,000 back. So I get an 80% return day one. So oil is very, very profitable. That's what, but I don't invest in oil stocks. Very different. Okay, so if oil goes to $20 a barrel, I'm still cash flowing, I'm still making money. So it's at about 40 right now. <laughs> Hope it doesn't go too much farther, but I still make money, okay? And the number one expense for most people is taxes. And yet we don't even see it. Isn't that weird? You walk around and you look at the paycheck and say, ah, that doesn't seem right. And you don't realize that the government's got a huge hand in your pocket and you are doing nothing to minimize that. Again, right. this is what is very different about the rich and the poor. Well, the reason the rich don't work for money is number one expense is tax. See, there's three kinds of income earned portfolio passive. So earned income is if I get a job, that's earned income. If I'm a doctor or a programmer, that's earned income, because I'm working for it. If I, buy a, if I buy, let's say, Apple for $10, and I send it for 20, that's uh, portfolio income, capital gains. Yeah. But passive income, which is cash flow, is never taxed. So it's not, and so all these guys are screaming right now in America, tax the rich. I said, good luck. Because most of the guys complaining, they don't know the three kinds of income. And the rich don't have jobs anyway. They have assets. And so the average schmo out there, a poor guy, you know, sent the kid to school. They don't learn this. So that's why in fake, as you were talking about it, is that newspaper article about Jared Kushner. And he explains how the Trumps and the Kushners don't pay taxes and make millions of dollars. And the reporter couldn't understand him because they're not, our schools will never teach you that three types of income. And they judged him and say they're wrong and it's cheating. And we see that over and over again, Amazon not paying taxes. What do you say to people when they come up to you and say, Robert, it's not fair. It's not fair they're not paying taxes. Well, there's always three sides to a coin, you know, heads, tails, and the edge. You know, so which side of the coin are you on? From my side, it's fair. But this is the difference. Everybody can do the same thing I do because the tax laws are for everybody. You know, we don't say, well, the tax laws are only for the rich. No, the tax laws are for everybody to use if you have the right financial education. And the reason I'm an advocate of financial education, without that education, you have to pay taxes. You see, very few people will buy what I do make a million dollars and pay zero tax. That takes, and my rich dad taught me that playing Monopoly, that's how it started, you know, four greenhouses, one red hotel. Or the McDonald's formula, I write about it here, McDonald's, Ray Kroc. Yeah. 
McDonald's is in the real estate business, so they sell hamburgers, but they buy real estate, so they pay no taxes. You know, this guy Bezos, well, he's $16 billion. How much tax do they pay on that $16 billion? Zero. And that's all legal. Anyone can do it. Everybody can do but it. But everyone, most people lack the education. Correct. So Jared learned about money when he was a kid by Correct. watching his father, by watching these people invest in real estate and said, wow, not only do you get to make the money, you get to keep the money. That's a big problem a lot of people don't understand. They, oh, look how much money I made, but how much did you keep? Because that could be half. How much tax did you pay? Right, what tax did you pay? And so well, you always say, this is the law. The law is true for every citizen. You can do it, but most people just don't do it. Sometimes, like you said, they don't have the education because you need to have a plan if you're gonna go do risky things. Well, it's not risky. I mean, to me, what's, what's risky is having a job and paying taxes. Yeah. Let me say this. Taxes are incentives. The reason I get tax breaks for real estate is because I provide housing. I get tax breaks for providing jobs. I get tax breaks for providing oil. And I get tax breaks for providing food. But, me, but most people see me as a crook. I'm not, the US government wants me to provide housing, wants me to provide jobs, wants me to borrow money, because that's how money is created through debt, and to provide oil and food. I get huge tax breaks. Everybody can do the same thing if they had the financial education to do it. If people understood the tax code, we'd be more prosperous. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Right? Because more people would be entrepreneurial. Correct. And creating things that would help the economy, starting jobs, creating jobs, starting or, companies. You know, you know, we got starvation all over the world. Just provide food. You provide food, the government gives you a tax break. One is investing is invest in what you love. I love business. I love real estate. I mean, I really love it. I own this building here. And I love gold and silver. So I invest in what I love. Mm -hmm. Most people say, you know, and do what you love, but I rather invest in what I love. But I love being an entrepreneur. I love investing. It's like Shark Tank to me. I'm always looking at new businesses, new deals. It's, it's just a game like this. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at the financial statement, that's like a scorecard. It's like a golf scorecard is your financial statement. But as you know, our schools teach us nothing about financial statements. A long time ago, yeah. when we first started Millennial Money, you know, I made the, my usual wise-ass remark, <laughs> only lazy people use their own money. And that's because I have spent much of my life raising capital. You know, today you have crowdfunding and all that stuff. But the reason I had to learn to raise money was because I had no money. And so if you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, in there, my, my rich dad always said, never say I can't afford it. And it was my rich dad and many of my teachers subsequent to that, mm -hmm. they said, lazy people always say I can't afford it. I don't have the money. That's why they're poor. They have a poor mindset. So instead of figuring out how to raise money, it's just really easy to be a loser. And I call it losers. It's, pisses them off because we all have the power if we wanted to to not be poor if we learned how to raise money so I hear you know and the reason I get upset I still get hot with this my poor dad my poor my PhD father he always said to me he says you know I'd be a rich man if I didn't have you kids and I said well you know dad uh, not my fault you had kids, you know what I mean? You know, I just can't afford it because I have kids. And the more he said that, the angrier I got. Mm -hmm. So when I went with my rich at age nine, you know, he says, well, that's why your old man's poor, because he's lazy. He thinks his PhD is gonna carry him. He says, everybody can say, I don't have money, I can't afford it. He says, that's why he's poor, he's lazy. But my father kept going back to school, you know, Stanford, University of Chicago, Northwestern. He never learned any of this stuff. They still don't know it because most teachers want a paycheck, pension, and tenure. They want job security. You know, over my lifetime, I've raised hundreds of millions of dollars. And it's because I don't have, I didn't have money as a young person that I learned how to raise capital. And, and, and it's really quite simple. You have to find an asset that's worth more than me. You know, if they can't invest in me because that's called slavery, you know, you know, buy me, you know. So what I do is, you know, I started off, I write about it in fake. 
I started off looking for this one little piece of real estate. I found an excuse, you know, this one bedroom, one bath condominium on the beach in Maui. And I found an excuse for people to give me the money. All I had to do is assure them I'd pay them back. So my first deal was an infinite return deal. I had no money in the deal because it was 100% debt. It was an $18,000 condo. You can't touch them for that much anymore. But the economy was bad. So I buy this $18,000 condo. The guy wanted 10% down. You know, you don't need higher math. 10% of 18,000 is how much sports fans? $1,800. I could have used my money. I had the money, but that would be too easy. Robert tells us lazy people use their own money. Let's find out exactly what he means by this. Only lazy people use their own money. And that's what really pissed off a lot of people out there. Because you calling me lazy? I said, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Because you're the same type of person will say, I can't afford it. I can't do that. That's the problem. It's up here. It's, it's, it's the real estate between this year and that year. I can't do that. Most of my family say, well, you, I can't afford it. My father taught him to say that. My mother taught him to say mm -hmm. that. My rich dad said, never say that. Let me ask you this question. You, know, you work for the rich dad company. How much of my money is in this company? Sure. Sure.